Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brianna. So I have always had feet problems and I've had surgery on my feet. So I am always looking for shoes that are good on my feet, but also don't make me look, I don't want to say bad, but there's some shoes that are really good for your feet, but they really are ugly. So today I'm going to be talking about Kuru's. I've had these for months now. So I started off with these ones. Kuru's are pretty expensive. So I wanted to do a review after some months of having them so that you guys know if they are worth the money or just all hype. So here they are. The one thing with these ones, they've been wearing pretty nicely. There is a string here, but with the stitching, you can't even. There's actually extra padding right here on the back of the shoe so that when you slip it on, it feels super cushioned nice, but not too much. And the tongue is actually attached to the shoe. I know some people don't like that, but when you unlace the shoe and then tighten it back up, you can't even tell. And there's just a lot of structure. If you push on this part right here, and I am a pronator, so my feet turn this way. It has extra cushion on this side so that you're not feeling the discomfort of your feet turning in because it's going to stop you because it has extra support. And it's just a really nice shoe and I have never cleaned these and they still look pretty nice. These are the ones that I really really wanted when I saw them on the website but they were sold out so I bought the black ones first. About a week later, not even a week later, like I hadn't even got these ones yet. These became available. They're all white and they're just like a really simple sneaker, but it doesn't look like an orthotic. These also have the side support, so they feel really comfortable, and I wear these a lot. I'd almost say that these have replaced my white Converse because Converse are so bad for my feet. As my foot doctor calls them, they're the devil's shoe, but they're just so cute and simple and they go with so many things and I have so many pairs, I'm sorry. And here's the insert for them. As you can see, it's still flexible, but it does come up a lot more on the side to give you that side stability. And it's also for several different feet problems rather than just pronating. So go on their website if you have any type of feet problems and they'll let you know which specific shoe style will fit your needs the best. Before we do any kind of comparisons for a feet test, I wanted to do a walking test to show you what my feet look like in my worst shoes. So these are my Chuck Taylor 2s. And as you can see, my pronating is pretty obvious in these. So let's take them off so you can see what it looks like without any shoes. I think it's easier to see with the shoes on, but here's just a baseline for y'all. I can arch my feet if I think about it, but most of the time I'm not. So my feet are like this most of the time. And here are the first Kuru's. So these ones are the white ones. As you can see, my feet aren't sinking in as much. They still do, but not as dramatically. Next are the black ones. So I'm gonna spot clean them up with some fragrance free baby wipes. That's the way that I like to clean my shoes. And if you have some really stubborn stains using some acetone or nail polish remover, it really gets off some stains. But you need to be careful if your shoes have any colors on them because it will take the color off of them or fade the color depending on what they use to dye the shoes. And then if I wanted them to look super spick and span, I would take out the laces, either change them or throw them in the washing machine with my clothes and they would be washed up. And these clean really good because they are leather. The only con that I've had with these guys is not a big deal, but right around the edges right here and near the back, it started to crack just because it is real leather. It hasn't gotten like progressively worse. So I've been okay with it. And these shoes do have a guarantee so that if you don't like them after a certain amount of time, you can return them and say thanks, but no thanks. They didn't work for me and get your money back. So now I'm going to clean these ones. 
These ones you can't obviously see, so we're going to use a new baby wipe to show you. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more content and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!